Recently, a community member reached out with a problem that I think could be pretty common amongst builders in our community. So I wanted to do a video showcasing a simple parallel pipe clamp that you can make and customize based on a couple of different factors that we'll talk about a little bit later on in the video. And I think the solution is gonna be really useful, so make sure to stick around and add it to your inventory of hacks that you can use in your projects. So basically, what the customer was facing is they had a boat that had a two and a half inch outer diameter tube rail all the way around the outside of the boat. They wanted to build a three quarter inch EMT conduit frame on top of that, and in a perfect world, you could use our connectors to just directly attach to a boat rail or something, and sometimes that does work if the diameter is close enough, but in this case, there's like an inch and a half difference in the diameters, so that's not gonna work. So the solution I've got here is basically a parallel pipe clamp that you can customize and use various different diameters inside of the clamp. And I found this and got this idea from something called a mast to mast, M-A-S-T, antenna mount, which is commonly used for like TV antennas and CB radios, things like that. And you can, you know, join two masts or antennas together with that clamp. And I was showing that solution to Dave and he was like, oh, we have the pieces already to do that. And then he brought this stuff to me and turns out we do already have the pieces to make a really cool clamp that you can do this solution with. So basically, all you gotta do is get the middle piece of the adjustable 180. You might recognize this. Usually there's an end clamp coming out of each side and you can make a three-way connection between three pipes that are you know, different angles and it's really useful for bracing. But we're just using the middle piece of that connector and you can actually, on our website, makerpipe.com, just get the middle pieces by themselves. You don't have to get them with the end clamps. And basically, I'm just gonna assemble this together and show you what it looks like before you put the pipes in, and then here it is completely finished. But basically, you just need to get a bolt because the bolt that comes with the connector pieces are 25 millimeters, and this is an M6 by one. And you can use a quarter 20 bolt and nut if you want because a quarter 20 does fit in the connector pieces, but you won't be able to use the nut pocket in here, uh, which you know we designed it for the M6 nut, and it makes it so you only have to use one tool when you're putting it together, but you can substitute a quarter 20 if that's easier. You just gotta make sure to you know, use two tools to put it together. But I'll link this one down below. This is an 85 millimeter M6 by one bolt that I found on Amazon that worked out great for this. And basically you'll just put that bolt through each side of the connector. So you'll have two sticking out and then you just put another piece on there. And then we've got our first part of the connection. You can imagine this is where the first pipe will go into. And then the next thing that you need is a spacer. This is just called a seamless steel paper. I got this one at Ace Hardware. And remember when I said that we had customization possibilities, basically you can customize this spacer. This one is an inch in length. This one is three quarter inch in length. And you can customize the gap between the two pipes and tubes that you're connecting, which I think is really useful for you know, different reasons. And like I said, this one is three quarter inch, but this one is one inch. And you could potentially find spacers that would you know, allow you to do even bigger of a gap. You just wanna make sure to get hardware uh, based on the pipes that you're connecting. You know, if you're doing two half inch EMT pipes parallel, you don't want, um, you know, like a 90 millimeter bolt because then you're gonna have that much thread sticking off and you don't want that, or maybe you do, but I think it looks cleaner if you have a shorter one. Even this is kind of too long for this half inch and one inch EMT pipe parallel. But basically, you can customize the spacer and you can customize the bolt length based on the tubes that you're connecting and the gap that you want. But once you put the spacers on there, and you add the other adjustable 180 pieces, then you can just use the M6 nut that we provide with the connector pieces or the quarter 20 nut if you opted for that whenever you're picking up the hardware. And here it is kind of loosely assembled. This is the parallel pipe clamp solution. So you could customize this. You could do two three quarter inch EMT pieces and do you know three quarter inch EMT parallel to each other. You could do half inch and one inch as I have here. Maybe you have a fence in place and you wanna connect your build to a piece of top rail that you have. There's a ton of possibilities, whether you're using it with the pipes and tubes that work with our connectors, or if you're like the customer that reached out and you have an existing pipe or tube or a railing or something that you want to attach to and build off of, I think this solution is gonna be really useful. And then all you have to do, once you get your pipes in there, you can just use a five millimeter hex wrench, tighten this, and then take advantage of the nut pocket if you're using the M6 hardware, and then you can just use a single tool to tighten this. You wanna make sure to go back and forth evenly to tighten it, and if you do have issues with the, you know, the two pieces kind of getting too close together, 
you could potentially get another spacer based on the pipe that you're using and put that in between the two pieces. I don't think it's totally necessary. I think you can get it strong without doing that, but if you do have trouble getting the two, pa uh, the two pieces close together, that is a solution that you could consider is just put the spacers in there. You could also like stack washers, which wouldn't look as good, but might be cheaper and easier to accomplish. And another cool thing about using our pieces for this is we have the hole here that you can use a self-tapping screw. So potentially you could assemble the two pieces together with the pipe in there, put the self-tapping screw through, and kind of make the clamp before you put the bolts through, uh, which is a, an awesome way that you could do that and make it easier to assemble. But it also adds strength to the overall connection because you could add four self-tapping screws between these and really sure up the connection even more and make it even stronger. But I hope you guys found this useful. I think it's gonna be really helpful for all kinds of different projects and I hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.